All right, look, Chris K Town, bro. Or Big Chris K Town, man. Whatever you want to call me, just don't call me broke, you did? Oh, yeah, definitely. You're definitely not broke, man. Nah. Hey, on some real shit, you're like the DJ Khaled of Chicago, bro. Man, whatever you want to You're the only DJ one Khaled. bringing artists together, man. I see yeah. L Hitter in the studio at the same time with FBG Duck, man. Um, you know, I see a whole lot of people, bro. I see a lot of high profile individuals with you, bro. Like, how does it feel knowing that, you know, you got the streets right now? Like, I say DJ Khaled cool, but ain't no DJ Khaled because DJ Khaled don't personally make hits. He just get on okay. tracks and yell shit. I okay. Make hits too. So I say okay. more like Dr. Dre. Okay. You, you know how he brought Snoop Dogg and all them niggas together and all them niggas together and Tupac and all them niggas. That's okay. how we do. But he still create behind the scenes. You okay. Know, mix, master the music, produce it, do everything. You feel me? DJ okay. Khaled don't really do that. He no disrespect to him. He just get on there and yell. This the remix I think and all that I, shit. I think he rapped one time in the All I Do Is Win remix. He had a verse. Mm, he talked. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I do this shit for real. Okay. But, man, don't be nothing, Joe. My fuckers be trying to unify the city, you feel me? Yeah, but definitely. What shit bring together? Definitely, definitely. You know? Yeah, you're actually one of my personal favorites, bro. Now, one thing I gotta ask you. When we first heard it, well, when I first heard of you, yeah. it was the Love Fo situation. Say who? Say that again. The Love Fo situation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Uh, Recipe Zach TV. He did the interview on that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. R.I.P. Zach. Yeah, Love Fo, that was uh, my little bro. You feel me? Uh, okay. I'm happy with his career. Not to say he went a blue without me, but, you know, I was there to make shit possible. Right. Took him off the streets, put him in the right. studio. You recorded Cut Him Up. Cut It Up. Uh, cool. Yeah. Cool. Shit was gang in this bitch. Whatever you want to name. All his first hits. Oh, uh, damn. Everything the first is until the last song probably did was on Ambitious as a Rapper. Okay. And that's when you know. Now, how did you meet Love Fo? Uh, I knew him for like over, oh, uh, just, you know, we all were shorties. Okay. Up in the neighborhood, you know, way before this rap shit. Any one I started doing. Then I started rapping, and I started buzzing through my hood. Right. It's the MIC shit with Mikey Dollars and Hill Will. Shout out Mikey Dollars. And then all, you know, all back to the neighborhood, you should look up to us from, you know, our local buzz. Okay. And, you know, look for you to always say, nah, I need to get in the studio, big bro. I used to have him rap for me. All right. I finally just put him in there, you know, then I believed in him, and then I kept putting him in there all the time. You feel right. Me? And so having to be, he was hot. Right. You know? Right. Okay, what. May I ask what actually happened that separated the two? Uh, Are you guys. I didn't have no fame. He was young, you know. Right. Some people don't know how to handle the fame when they're young. Right. You know, it ain't no, it ain't no hard feelings. Right. You know, so but this was young. Okay. Y'all niggas could have asked. I'm gonna say yes. yes. Right. Okay. Okay. Now I gotta ask you, man. You're doing your thing right now. With oh damn! You a goofy. This fucking asshole right here. You know. That's not. Do it. No, you you knew niggas was doing the interview. So anyway. Yeah. How 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 do you know this fucking Chicago bully, man? The Chirac bully. Shit, I've been no ducky. Ducky been killing shit. He always been one of my favorites, man. Okay. You know, and it was a blessing when my boy said, man, let's get that motherfucking move and work. You feel me? Yeah, man. Shit, you know me. Let's get that motherfucking work. We've been making magic ever since, you feel me? Bro, one of the realest niggas in a, in a, in a period to me, you feel me? Oh, yeah, definitely. Bro, had to reach to me. You know? Oh, yeah, definitely. That boy, nigga guy, he ain't had to reach to me, and he already at the top. I ain't helping him get the way he had to get. No, definitely. And he reached to me. But it's right. niggas who I helped get that still ain't reached for me. But that lets you know the faith from the real right there. Right, definitely, you know? bro. Okay, now I recently seen you with Q Money. How did you meet Q Money, bro? What's your relationship with him right now? Uh, shit, you know, just networking and shit, you know. Going out there to the eight, getting out with Lucci now. Okay. Shout out my uh, partner, Bone D. Oh, why a fan, Lucci? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, networking shit, okay. Out them all now. And uh, my man's Bone, he got a mutual family member that. <laughs> You know, be around him. Okay. So happy to be, we linked up. The nigga, hear me rap. Man, we gotta do some shit. Man, you can knock out a hole. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. I was just asking you, do you and Duck plan on doing a full mixtape together? Man, that motherfucker been done, y'all. It's been done. We just wait. We just waiting to. Y'all, y'all probably ain't mean. You probably ain't even mean to do one. Y'all just did so many songs. It's just there. Y'all probably got like ten mixtapes done. Yeah, yeah, right. So a lot of work. See, and bro really said it. See, let's just drop yeah. something together. Cause bro, oh, yeah. whole plan was like, he said, let's drop a tape together. Yeah. I'm gonna feed some of my fan base off on you. You feel me? Oh, like yeah. a real nigga should do. Right. You feel me? That's how Atlanta do. You feel me? Oh yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. It's a studio in every corner in Atlanta. Willing to do that, bro. All the way down, he reached back. Right. Fun niggas. Like me and Mikey Dollar. Right. His whole game. You feel me? Right. 
And that's how niggas supposed to be. If niggas talk about Unifying City, he really trying to do it. Okay. Fuck all the talking, niggas really doing it. Oh yeah, definitely. Now, with your work, do you write or you freestyle, bro? Shit, I go straight out. Man, I just go in that bitch and rap. Okay. Oh, you know, right. Okay, definitely. I not fuck around, write two bars or something sometime. But other than that, nah, we just possibly. I ain't got no time to write. I record myself. Right. I can't write. I record myself. Well, I got something to write. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna that shit. Oh yeah, so definitely. Just think of it, go. You a crazy ass question, bro. Yeah. Six nine, man. Now the nigga doing life in prison right now. But how did you feel when he came to Chicago and he was, uh, you know, trolling everybody? Shit, if you ask me, it was some mastermind shit. He was trolling us. We fell for it. He had a billion police with him. We knew we ain't gonna touch him. More, more police than Obama. Yeah, you feel me? So, yeah. Six nine, he doing his thing. He get his money. He locked up right now. I'm saying free him, man. You know, I don't want to see him locked. No nigga locked yeah, up, free the nigga. You feel yeah. me? Them, them inmates finna take the rainbow now, though. Free, free the nigga, man. It's probably publicity stuff for yeah. them. You never yeah, you're right. Okay. Free the nigga, though. Okay, definitely. All right, free now. Guy. Okay, now, uh, tragic situation. I gotta ask you about the death of Zach TV, man. How did it affect you when Zach passed away, bro? Because I know it hurt all of us. Man, I had a lot of love for Zach, Joe. Zach. Zach, Zach put the city on. He put a lot. He put a lot of eyes on me with the little four in the room. You feel me? Right. I made niggas wake up a little bit more and more. You know, I've been yeah. doing my thing. Right. But you know, um, shit. I was actually performing at that show that night. That shit happened. Mm -hmm. I performed. I was one of the headlines. Right. Rocked out. Left. I left early though. You feel me? So okay. I do my thing, get my money, and I leave. He stayed. Shit. Next thing you know, I see it on the news. Damn. It's crazy, man. But this Chirac, they got. You gotta keep your head up out here, man. You can't trust right. nobody. You just gotta keep your head up, man. Fuck with who you fuck with. Right. That's the niggas you gotta plan from a distance. Ride with tenor windows and keep your head low. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay. Now I wanna ask <laughs> you about I wanna ask you about K Town, man. Big Chris, the name K Town. Yeah, what is K Town, bro? K Town is my home. I run that, man. You feel right. me? The whole really out west, 290, I run that, man. You feel me? Let nobody oh, shit. I run that. All the niggas, they fuck with me, Joe. You feel okay. me? Every real nigga fuck with me. All the killers, real niggas fuck with me. You feel okay. Me? K Town is just a bunch of blocks with K, my hood. Okay. Colin Kill, that Comiskey, Cos, like Catville, shit like that. Okay. Now you're from out west in Chicago. Yeah. Okay. How was it growing up out west? Shit, cool. You know, we played sports and shit. Okay. You know, my little shot fella, I was ranked in the nation who, <laughs> you feel me? You know? Played against all them niggas, Derrick Rose, Tosha Barry Parker. My right. homie with the Warriors right now, shout out him out Fonz, I'm McKinney. Oh yeah. That's definitely. how I was just on my Instagram and shit, like with him. Play Thompson and all them niggas. Okay. Now I see you doing a lot of work with a lot of big names, man. I see you with Sasha Go Hard. I've seen you obviously with Duck, Q Money, uh Mikey Dollars obviously, Ill Will. Dreezy. Uh, yeah, definitely Dreezy, you know. Tink. Man, who who do you have next working with you, bro? Like, it's crazy how you're doing this shit. Shit, you know, um, man. So how about me, bro? I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't be reaching out. I don't reach out to nobody, bro. They hit you up. Yeah, I swear to God. Right. Whoever reach out next, you know, I'm willing to work with everybody. Okay. You know, because, you know, I don't, I don't reach out to nobody, really. I'm, I ain't reached out to none of them names you said. Oh, damn, okay. Even though That's I was but I'm a type of nigga, I ain't can't take no Okay. To my small my charge this. I've been a check charge. Oh, yeah. You feel me? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, so I don't really reach out, but whoever reach out next, you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna no keep working. You know, okay. Grab, man, you know. Okay. Now now somebody like you is a person who's gonna get a million dollar deal as soon as possible. Do you plan on signing any label deals, man? Hey, or are you gonna I'm stay sign. independent? Fuck with a nigga talking about I'm letting a nigga tell you don't sign to sell your soul, nigga. Every nigga you know that got rich off this rap shit been signed before. Okay. Let no nigga tell you, oh, we independent all the way through the nigga signed to somebody, some rich right. millionaire being there. You know? That's the extra push a nigga need. Don't let no nigga right. tell you they independent. Right. They not, they lie. I don't right. fuck who chance, whoever. Right. No nigga independent. Right, definitely. But a lot of guys do get the money out the streets, you know, and then they may yeah, invest it. Yeah. But, you know. But it's so far that you can get without being signed. Right. You ain't going to be able to take over that radio unless you're signed. Okay. Right. You know, yeah, it's something you true. can capitalize off that. Jay-Z was one sign. Okay. Now look at the position he in. Right. Dr. Dre was one sign. Now look at the position he in. It's up to you to capitalize off that. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to capitalize on these shits. Well, I just left him with Atlantic Records. You know, I've been, uh, who else? Capital. 
Oh yeah. yeah. Oh shit. I've been messing with Priority. My man Tracks over there. Are you considering so, signing with any one of them? Yeah, or? Atlantic looking the most likely the most. Oh yeah, and definitely. I've been messing with my man Chris Gotti. I might just have him manage me. Okay. You feel me? Okay. Uh, Gotti Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, so where do you see yourself in the next three years as an artist, bro? Do you I see yourself with your own company? Me and everybody around us with our own company and, and you know. Taking over the rap game, you feel me? Okay. Like the Migos got in the hole now. I see me, Duck, Mikey Dollars. Oh yeah. All of us running the game. L. Man. Hitler, Polo. Shout out L. Hitler, man. Hey, hey, I got to oh. shout out L. Hitler, bro. Yeah, L. Hitler. He got that hit all year going crazy right now. Hashtag. That's you my know. Homie. I tell him every day. I'm proud. Man. Of you, man. Represent for the West Side, you man. You How did you meet him, bro? I mean, Hitler. Hitler. I've been to Hitler before he blew. You feel me? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, um, We've been in cahoots with people. I shout out to my homie Prince D. He, you know, okay. running around me once. You know, we talk, chop it up. So if you're doing this thing, as homie RJ has produced. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out RJ, man. Club before they get big. Like, man, listen to this. We doing this, do this. And me being a nigga, I am. I ain't brushing niggas off. I listen right. to them and I fuck with them, you feel me? Right. And niggas remember that. Even when they was, you know, before right. they got Definitely, big, definitely. Yeah. It's all about love. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. Any uh, thing you want to say to the fans? Like anything coming out? Like any mixtapes, new music videos? I see you and Duck just did a video. Yeah. Man, niggas are gonna keep dropping this heat, fucking these streets up, man. Just yeah. taking up the game so y'all kept with these hits. Okay. And, and let it take away. You know what I'm saying? That being being not a deal. And help more young niggas eat, man. That's my goal. Definitely. I'm gonna help more young niggas get in the game, man. And do their thing, man. We're gonna sign okay. more young niggas in turn. A lot of young niggas to millionaires, you feel me? Okay. Go over and take the game on, on some Dr. Dre shit, you feel me? We're okay. trying to be billionaires. Now, if somebody wanted to reach out for you um, with a feature, maybe a show, a host, and whatever, where can they get at you? Just, Dr. Uh, Big Chris, bitch. <laughs> Let's hit the Instagram on the features and the shows. I'm not recording no more new niggas, so don't hit me up on no studio time. I'm okay. Good. I got enough people I rock with to keep my bankroll fat, so. Definitely. I don't want to reach. No, don't hit me up for no studio time. I'm locked in. Okay. Uh, features and shows. You know, just hit the DM on Instagram or um, email. Okay. All right. Definitely. Yeah, you got shout status update, bro. Status update. Uh, status update. Oh yeah. Shout out to Stat you ready? Yeah. Shout out to Status Update, man. It's your boy Lil I'm gonna do it one more time. It's your boy Lil Chris, man, representing our West 290 K Town. G's up, holes down. Shout out to Status Update, man. It's a takeover, man. Be ready for this shit, man. Definitely.